Hello, we're down here at the community gathering place today. Um, I'm really excited. We came to a completion. The customer's happy. And uh, today we're going to do a little tour of this place. So the finishes that we ended up choosing, we went with uh, vinyl plank floor. When we decided on the trim package, um, if we want to just take a zoom in, we used this on the, the other carriage house that we did. And I like this trim because there's a very little lip on the top here, which makes it so that dust doesn't collect. Lots of this flat stock, there's a lot, it's just a dust catcher. I think it's very, uh, a bad idea. So with this little tiny lip, you get a little bit of detail, still kind of that flat look. Um, yeah, I think it's a great uh, baseboard trim for sure. So in, in this corner here, we have it set up so that eventually, if, if it ever ends up turning into a kitchen, that, that space is available um, with minor uh, renovations. And then we'll come down here. Um, this space is set up so that we could have a washer and a dryer coming in here uh, down down the line. Yes, it's not um, the ducting not ran. They wouldn't allow that, and for right now, um, that's the way that we had to leave it. Come on down this way, and we'll head to the bathroom. So we just have a, a basic laundry sink here. and the toilet. There's potential for a shower to fit in there, if so be down the future, if that's the route that they end up going. This would be the bedroom, and yeah. With a little bit of furniture in here, you kind of see how it could take shape. Um, as far as it being a community gathering spot, and a uh, place where people are able to enjoy their time and be able to sit and gather. Not right now, obviously, because we're in uh, COVID, but in the future, it'll be a, a great place for people to be able to lounge and hang out. This was uh, a great project. I'm, I was really excited about it. The client was really happy. We had different things that we had to get through. Uh, client was understanding of that. I think that had a lot to do with being able to communicate the issues as they came up so that the client felt comfortable when they did come up. When you have the moment to be able to discuss it before and you're, you take the time to plan things out and, and, and you don't just try and get a project done by uh, asking a bunch of people uh, to bid your project without you know, interviewing the client and understanding what they actually expect from you, then you, you have a way better result. Going and, and understanding each other because it really is a, it is a relationship that you have to build with that person and, and if the relationship isn't good, then it makes it really tricky. So understanding each other, understanding that, you know, at the very beginning of a project, it's an interview process, less than it is about what number they're gonna get to because Often in the end, the number isn't what makes a successful project. Yes, it definitely helps and you definitely have to understand that there is a budget for every project. But if you and the client understand that you're really working together to try and uh, achieve a goal together, then it makes it a lot smoother. I will be sad to see this one go. It was a great time here and I look forward to the next project. Great end to a successful project.
Hey, we're down here at the community gathering place again today for a closeout. We came to install the uh, chain downspout. The exterior painting and finishing on the post is being done now. The project was a success. We were happy with the way that it went. The reason why I feel that it was such a success is because the communication was really good. At Buck Robertson Contracting, we do contracting with communication. So if you'd like your house built with communication, call us today.